everyone, it's Tiffany again. I just have a few quick minutes because I gotta get to the bus stop, but I wanted to continue our little video series that I'm doing for you on how to save money with essential oils. And today, we're not even gonna make anything, no DIY projects or anything like that. Super easy, super quick, super simple fantastic way to not only save money but um, reduce your toxic exposure. So what we're going to talk about today is using um, essential oils on dryer balls instead of using fabric softener. Did you know that fabric softener, fabric softener sheets, but also fabric softener, the artificial fragrances they use in fabric softener um, are one of the most toxic things that people use in their homes. Um, so I wasn't thinking about that at first when I started, you know, moving towards a chemical-free lifestyle because um, I thought, okay, it's just laundry. It's just laundry. It's not my body. But think about it. Your laundry, your, that your clothes that you have been laundered in, um, touch your skin all day long. What about your sheets that you sleep in all night long? Um, those sheets, you know, are rubbing up against your skin and exposing you to the toxins that were in the fabric softener and the laundry detergent as well. So, that's the toxic side of it. Um, when you put the fabric softeners in the dryer, the heat from the dryer, you know, speeds up um, all of the chemical reactions that occur and um, your toxic exposure is exacerbated. Um, not only that, but it blows it out into the atmosphere, so think about the environment as well. So today, I'm going to talk about um, wool dryer balls. So these are, they come in a bag like this. I got mine on Amazon. They come in a six-pack. You can get them in different sizes. Um, and my six-pack of wool dryer balls, I think, was roughly around $14. So that's a one-time expense. You make the $14 investment. And these things last forever. Um, I use three of them. This is what they look like. Um, you'll see that I add essential oils to them. So these I have been using for maybe close to a year, and they are in really good condition still. You'll see that they have some color on them because of I've been using a variety of essential oils on them. But um, this is what they look like when they're new, fresh and new. Still in pretty good shape for having been used for about a year, right? So these things are going to last you forever. Um, let me just explain a little bit about the dryer balls. I'm going to read to you what's on the package. Softens clothes, reduces drying time, so um, you're going to use less fuel um, to run your dryer, less electricity, less um, gas, whatever your dryer runs on. So it's going to save you money, no dyes, no chemicals, 100% felted wool, reusable, more than 1,000 loads. Um, so depending on your load, how large your load is, you toss in three to six dryer balls in your dryer and they bounce around so they spread out the clothing and the air gets between the clothing so your clothes dry faster. Therefore, you're using less um, energy to dry your clothes. Now, most people want their clothes to smell good when they come out of the dryer, right? So that's where the essential oils come in. Um, I started out using purification. Again, one of Young Living's fabulous blends that is so versatile. We use it for so many things. Purification is known to control odors, and it really, really does freshen your clothes and makes them smell great. But recently, one of my friends told me about using um, lemongrass, and lemongrass is even more cost-effective than purification, both of which are pretty cost-effective. But lemongrass, so let's talk numbers. Well, what I do is I add approximately two drops to each dryer ball, and I use three dryer balls um, when, I wash, when I dry my clothes. We have a pretty large dryer, so if your dryer is smaller, you could get away with two. So I use three dryer balls, and I do approximately two drops on each dryer ball, but I don't need to do that each time I run the dryer because the smell lingers. It stays on them for a while, so I find that I can reuse them, and the smell is there. And actually, as these get older, they kind of get better with age because the smell stays with them longer. So I find that I don't need to add oils until maybe the fourth or fifth load. So let's talk numbers. I figured this out ahead of time. Lemongrass costs um, 0 .045 cents per drop. That is, hi buddy, I'm doing a video. That is, um, so it costs me 27 cents each time I put oils on my dryer balls. 
but I don't do that each time I wash the clothes. So I do that about every um, five loads. So that works out to 0 0.054 cents per wash load. 0 0.054. How much do you spend on fabric softener and toxins that you're putting into your clothing and into the atmosphere? Um, I looked online because I don't dry, buy dryer sheets, but it looks like um, maybe if you buy um, dryer sheets and you put two of them in your load, that is 0 0.085. So this is about half the cost per load of um, using um, dryer sheets, fabric softener sheets. So cost effective, less toxins. Um, let me know if you are ready to get your essential oils. Young Living has a fabulous promotion this month if you wanna get started with your starter kit. They are throwing in a free bottle of Thieves um, laundry detergent. So there you go, you can have chemical free um, laundry detergent, chemical free dryer, and using your essential oils in your dryer ball, you're gonna save money in the long run. All is good. Let me know if you have any questions. Have a good day.